Can the industry grow without really increasing their energy, fuel and water footprints? We have been doing many energy audits, not only in India, but also South Asia, Southeast Asia, in Middle East and Africa. On an average, what we see as a result of this audit, there is a 30 to 50 percent energy saving potential that today exists, especially in thermal systems that we are auditing. To couple that uh, along with this energy saving, there is a huge amount of water saving that is possible as well. And if you look at this 30 to 50 percent of energy saving, what we are finding is that around uh, maybe half of it, say 15 to 20 percent lies in category where there are obvious visible wastages that are happening in the plant which we categorize as top wastage and then there are uh, avenues like optimizing system efficiency it could be uh, generator efficiency or it could be uh, improving or optimizing the efficiency at the consumption area so this has around around 15 to 20 percent as a uh, range mm. where we can actually uh, save or reduce and at the top of it you have heat recoveries which is possible in the entire uh, realm of uh, the process and utility. So uh, both on the process side and on the thermal side where you can I anywhere between 5 to 10 percent saving potential. What industries can do today is just to focus on energy efficiency and target these three areas. Business side, the return on investment uh, for most of the uh, of the three categories varies. So the most lucrative one is top wastage which can return on itself uh, maybe within a year to 15 months period and at the top end that is uh, optimizing uh, efficiency and waste rate recovery could be something anywhere between uh, or less than three years.